Yeah, but at the same time, <laughs> throw it out there. But at the same time, I like to be comfortable. I don't think the way you dress even justifies or puts you on a certain level. Like you said, like you like it looking grown. Now, I can understand what you mean by looking grown because playing basketball, seeing your coaches and seeing your church members and all that, you seen those people and was like, I like that look. Right. I like that look because that look get respect. You get what I'm saying? Not to mention that even some of those same people that got that look might have been some of the shittiest people in this motherfucking world. So now we're going back to Allen Iverson and his look mm-hmm. and the reason why we were saying like you said that people was probably saying no. Allen Iverson looked the way he looked but might have been one of the most generous people and on paper he was the most generous yeah. person yeah definitely he did a lot throughout the community in Virginia mm-hmm. he lost a lot of money giving it to some people giving it to people helping a lot out of people. people Yeah. now if you want to micromanage his his things that he did and what he said on certain albums and the big jury that he wore that's his spirit you cannot host to somebody else's spirit at no point in time. And that's why I had a problem with the NBA. It's like, let's get control of these boys. Right. But they, I, I was like, forget y'all. I'm going to steal you. I'm, I'm, I'm with it. Yeah. And, and, they yeah. tried, and they tried to find them. And you can see that they said, fuck it. Look at Russell Westbrook and look at all the rest. They just going to dress the fuck the way they want to dress. Fuck the whole suit policy. Yeah. That's best, best, really. But yeah, but Russell was dressing according to like this. This is another thing. Hip hop. The NBA didn't want that hip hop image and what rap music represented. And that's the what Iverson was cross culture. But Iverson was like, where do you think you get most of your players from? Exactly. You get right. most of your players from a hip hop environment, no, listen, listen. from a rap environment. Like LeBron comes from the project. You know what I mean? Like listen. all these guys come from. Those type of neighborhoods. No one's coming from, you know, uh, Hollywood Beach where they listen to rock and roll and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And mm-hmm. but the NBA didn't want that. But you know, you know where it started. We're gonna talk about LeBron on the next. Yeah, segment, you know where right? it started. It was it was Fab Five, man. That's what Fab started five, it. Yeah. And anything I hate to say, it, but anything dealing with change, they hard. It's like they're never gonna accept it on that level. So sometimes it's the it's the rebellious. Attitude you have to have the rebel attitude you have to have to get your point across. But like, think of like the the a lot of the white players that come into the league. They cut their shirts off. They spike their hair. What happened? Nothing. Right. Because you know what? It's like that's Bird the man, Chris Anderson. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Like the owners and the GMs and the stuff. They was that's them. You know, their kids doing it. Their kids listen to Lindsay Lohan and all them type yeah. of coaches and dress like that. You yeah. know, I, I heard I heard Mike Vick. You know, during that time when when Colin Kaepernick, um, oh, you know, know, during the whole Colin Kaepernick situation, you know, with with the kneeling, and they were saying like, they was asking Michael Vick like, what do Colin Kaepernick need to do in order to get in the league, get back in the league? Nothing. And nothing. Mike Vick was just that. saying that like, you know, he might, he he's he's basically saying that it was an act. You know what I'm saying? He need to just be real. You know, same thing Ray Lewis was saying and saying, you know, he might just need to cut his hair and, you know, basically get all squared off and, you know, to be more acceptable to these own. And I took offense to that because I'm a very big Mike Vick fan because I stood behind Mike Vick doing the whole dog situation. We all did. When, when, his, when his father told on him, his friends told on him, when, you know, uh, that that's my thing, and then he had Mark Shalesha, whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> the white dude from uh from Detroit that used to play for the Detroit Lions. He and, and, and when Mike Vick said that, he just lit up like, Mike, I can't believe you said that. That that was so admirable of you, you know. Just cut your hair, and I looked at that motherfucker like, Are you fucking serious? And after that, Mike Vick was on fucking Fox Sports every fucking day, damn near. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, why, why, why do our black athletes bite that fucking apple, man? I have, 
I have hair. I love my hair. Yeah. And if a motherfucker think I'm any less than you two, because y'all suit and tie, they are some stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Hey, you got a thumbs up. That's true. Yeah, yeah, they are some stupid motherfuckers. Because I can throw a hell of a resume out there and people will be like, you? Oh, my God. Right. Yeah, yeah. You, you? get judged. Yeah. Don't but judge, had, don't judge the book I was your, If you had your hair spiked with the little spike things on your arm and you walked up playing Metallica. I'd probably be they, accepted. Um, you, you'll get a second, third, fourth, fifth chance. I'd, pro- I'd probably be, I'd be have a job at IBM or some shit. Yeah. He's so, uh, he's so rad. He, but he's black. And, but he's rad. So, so we can get him in. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So, so that's yeah. my thing, like. Nah, uh, Vic, I couldn't believe he said that. Let, let's 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 side, let's I, I, let's kill all that. Yeah, you know with, what? I, about you dressing a certain way gonna make you feel a certain way. No, because in you college, are in high you. school, we wear sweats the game. Every all the you team are sweats. you. But you, you know what? You know how suits. You know well, what? Catholic League, we have to wear after shirts. after 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 you saying that about what Mike Vick did. I want you to understand the comparison. Mike Vick actually did jail time and was out the league and. He just he somebody, somebody had to vouch for him to get back listen, in. Listen, 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 and it was Tony Dungy. Yeah, but nobody. And see, that's the thing. Nobody has came to Kaepernick's defense, defense. or the other NFL players. That's, have to say, that's look, the hip hop. It's, it's, uh, it's gonna take did. something drastic. It's that's gonna, understandable. Yeah, it's Tony, 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 Tony Dungy, Tony Dungy, as a black man, yeah. he should have right. He should as, have, as, as a he should, father, he should as now. a brother, as a uncle, yeah. as a grandfather, Tony, and as an elder and in his family, what? he supposed to. Yeah, he's supposed to, he's supposed to do it now because Kaepernick hasn't went to jail. Kaepernick said, look, wrong for shoes of African Americans in this company. Some, somebody needs to speak out about it. That is nothing just to turn your back on this man for. Tony Junji should be at the front lines with this too and supporting this man, but he has to come forward. Well, you got, you got to figure like some people. Arterial, no, I'm not gonna say arterial motor. Some people in gen, agenda yeah. in life is different, even though they may understand mm-hmm. what's going on, but their agenda to be comfortable and to and to, to to live a wholesome life may not be that same plan. So yeah. you got Colin Kaepernick who took a big ass chance. He he took a life chance. He took a chance that. It's for everybody out here. Yeah, it's but for the hip hop culture supported him more you than the I'm saying? Hell. Yeah, and and that's what it is. That's what it is. You no, take, no, you no. Go- he's he's actually he's actually international with it now. Like yeah. overseas, like he's actually yeah. bigger it, now. Oh, I, I bought me two shirts. Then, I got two Kaepernick yeah, shirts. Then it, then it was with the NFL, and the thing is, the NFL never bagged this man. But and, I'm like, and you got to figure the NFL is a company just like. The United States is a company, and they all tie it along with the military, along with, you know, every other government forces that's out here. They all tie together. That's how they keep the money going. That's how you get the promotion, you know. Mm-hmm. But one thing about that shield, these boys, they sit back and they honor that shield, man. And they are not going to break that shield because some of them go broke, and they rely on that shield to give them money in order to keep float. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. The, you talking about the United States? No, no, I'm NFL. talking about NFL. The NFL rely on the United States. No, these players relied on the, rely oh, on the okay, NFL. Okay. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to understand if Tony something happened to Tony Dungy, God forbid, the NFL take care of his family. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Michael Vick. He's trying to get back in good graces so he can get back well, in, he is in, back. in some yeah. of those benefits. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Now, actually, he's retired. He, he's retired, but he's, but he's got he's got another life and career after football. That's what a lot of exactly. You, you but retire, the NFL you, has nor, you, get you that. normally retire before you what thirty five normally, and then it's like okay, from thirty five to the rest of your days, okay, what you gonna do? Who gave you know? Tomlin? I mean, who gave Vic his last two two jobs? Tomlin. Yeah, he retired. Uh, Stiller. Yeah. Black co- black coach. Exactly. So, I mean, like, that's what you got to get. They, they, they're they trying to get back into this whole culture. 
But and right now, Colin Kaepernick is not. G holding his young. ground, yeah, but, you, you, but and he's still making you know over Hold a million on. a year. I don't, and I don't, I don't blame him because and the NFL need to be called out on their hypocrisy. And I'm talking about with the owners because think about this: you can beat women, get <laughs> second chances, get suspensions. You can have dog fighters out here get second chance suspensions. You can have aggravated assault. People Hernan- Hernandez drugs. was playing with somebody, and he was in a murder case until they, call- until they caught up with him. But you telling me a man comes out here and advocates, look, we need to say something about these innocent shootings of innocent bystanders by these law enforcement officers, and you don't want to have nothing to do with them? Is that not hypocritical? Seriously. And, they, and, and they're the same ones. Like, did that commercial piss you off, the full commercial, when they had the Dr. Martin Luther King speech? Behind the commercial, did y'all see that commercial yesterday? I didn't even see it, bro. Oh, oh my god, you see that com- when you get a chance. Their commercials was crazy. It was a Dr. Martin Luther King saying a speech with a Ford truck showing like some families and yeah. some in the prairies and stuff like that. And 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 you you got this going on in an NFL game, but you got Kaepernick sitting out in a season. Like yeah. it's just stuff like when you I want. I actually, I actually, crazy. I actually wanted to see a player kneeling down yesterday, and I did not see it. I think you know uh, what? What's the name? Of them? Everybody. Oh, if you think about it, in the Super Bowl, the Eagles players. You didn't see. You really didn't see no Eagle players or Patriot players when everybody protested about kneeling the anthem. You ne- you never seen them um, kneeling on TV. <clears throat> you didn't. Big money. Jenkins. And it's funny how those them, that, two that, teams. That, them, it was funny. That, it was funny how those them people two that wrote them checks. Don't, they don't want to see that during their time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All these commercials, man. They, they but you, but, oh, guess pay what? over thirty million. But guess what? They don't want that on them but, slots. Oh, guess what? And I'm, I'm always saying that's gonna overlook the commercial. That's true, but you know what? If you're looking for change to happen, the only time owners pay attention to change if it's effect, if it affects their pockets. And you know what? When you do it, or something like that on a Super Bowl stage, I think that sends more of a message than anybody than, than even Kaepernick can really put out there. Well, I know a lot of motherfuckers that didn't watch football throughout the season. They watched the Super Bowl yesterday, you fucking hypocrites. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we don't well, get Super, into that. Well, the Super Bowl was on, and they was at a party getting drunk. But either way, the game was right. on TV. Yeah. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get some music. Then we come back, man. We're going to yeah. talk about Duke. We're going to talk about We're going to really get into basketball. Yeah. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to talk about Duke losing. We're going to talk about uh, the decline of the Cavs. We're going to talk about the games tonight. Uh, just going to talk. Bring your game sports talk radio. I'll be back in y'all. Yeah. Sean Marshall. Act like I know what I'm doing, do not be quite a counsel I've thought of opportunities just to go stare in mountains While I'm shouting such a pretty place full of people drowning In pain, poverty, prejudice, and a lack of purpose Why am I so nervous knowing I love to close the curtains I hated a certain feeling so I filled it with her Like maybe if I just stop loving I'll be a better person Focus less on the people and more on my craft Could give a damn about your values when drop that ass Go get this cash for all my family and my friends Yeah, inevitably in the end I'll be alone just again, yeah yeah. So one time for them nice guys We might finish last Unless we finish in the right mind My kind Homie ain't no other quite like me Quite frankly I'm leaving your bitches knees quaking I'm earth shaking singing We're singing We gon' find ourselves Whether through this empty bottle Or this dad we melt Ain't no hell we felt Greater than the hell we built ourselves Well I'm screaming fuck the world The world is doing pretty swell uh, uh, Singing we gon' find ourselves Whether through this empty bottle Or this dad we melt Ain't no hell we felt Greater than the hell we built ourselves Well I'm screaming fuck the world a lawn full of evergreens, I'm happy every season Leave no reason to be reaching for no superficial purpose When I'm already okay with what's upon the surface You heard me? I carry a heart full of poetry Yet my vernacular and my motor skills Got me glowing so you notice me Homie please, when I get to going Ladies blow their knees like come with me I open door policy, got me digging deep Like if I found truth in the body Wouldn't have to speak to beats Jeez. But if I don't then you know what's over For phony MCs, believe me See, I'm standing as a local, though I know that with these vocals I could blow just like Chernobyl. Watch my name go fucking global, feeling gay, but ain't no homo. I'm just tripping off that logo, that's that cray cray. Hey, hey, take a step back and press replay, Sam. 
We saying we gon' find ourselves Whether through this empty bottle or this dab we melt Ain't no hell we felt Greater than the hell we built ourselves While I'm screaming fuck the world The world is doing pretty slow Yeah We're saying we gon' find ourselves Whether through this empty bottle or this dab we melt Ain't no hell we felt Greater than the hell we built ourselves While I'm screaming fuck the world brothers